We're sisters, sisters and, and together, together we're crumbs. We both like cooking and, and we, we love food and chocolate and red wine. So as long as you've got some broccoli to hand, um, you're, you're fine because I'm, I'm guessing you've probably got some pasta. Parmesan is nice, but if you've got cheddar, it's fine. I won't tell anyone or any Italians. Garlic, chilies, pepper, olive oil. So the chances are you've got all of this, so it's great to do when you think you've got nothing in the house. I make it at least once a week uh, for me and my husband and also for my kids. They love it, we love it. You can dress it up, dress it down. It takes 10 to 12 minutes to make and it's a brilliant Monday night dish. She's lying, no child eats broccoli. My kids love broccoli. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm using 200 grams of pasta for two people and I'll probably, I'll probably use a similar amount of, um, of broccoli. So it's quite a healthy dish. Right, I reckon that's probably enough. So. That I rinse. And is the water for the pasta or the broccoli? Uh, it's for both. So oh. I cook them both at the same time. It's that fast. So is there anything we can do with the garlic? Uh, yes, we can chop up the garlic. I like a lot of garlic. So this is for two people. I'm going to do three cloves. Wow. I know. This dish I was taught at an Italian cookery course. And it was a real revelation because it was like a proper dish that Italians eat all the time and um, and it was so easy and it just made me realize that it's not all about sort of you know making sauces and you know spending hours in the kitchen you can eat really well if you just know a few simple dishes and um, and this is one of mine for today it's for me and Lucy so I'm going to put some chili in if it was for my children I wouldn't put chili in so sometimes I make it and I add anchovies as well because mm. anchovies are really nice with broccoli. broccoli yeah they are aren't they yeah so those weird flavor pairings that you never really think of yeah because they're both quite strong flavors yeah but no they work really well so the water's boiling you put salt in it loads of salt yeah. you? I'm gonna put 200 grams of I've just got what's this fusilli pasta fusilli or fusilli yes as we like to call it <laughs> When I was taught how to make this, they told me that by cooking the broccoli with the pasta, you get all the nutrients that are leached from the broccoli go into the pasta. I'm not sure if I believe that, but I'm going to, I'm going nice to believe thing. it. It's a nice thing, isn't it? It's really healthy. That'll be ready in 10 minutes. The pasta's cooked, so is the broccoli. So I'm going to drain them now. Yummy, yummy. I'm going to put in quite a lot of olive oil because it's got to coat all the pasta and all the broccoli. Garlic goes in there. first. So you want this to fry a bit, not brown. Not go brown. If you yeah. over fry garlic, you get that horrible bitter taste. It really doesn't um, put browns. Yeah, and then, what do you reckon? Oh yeah, perfect. Oh, that smells gorgeous. There we go. Mm-mm. Actually, that's fine. Yeah, it's okay. There we go. Nice, satisfying sizzle. Because we cook the broccoli a lot, um, it breaks up really nice and easily just with a wooden spoon. I'm stirring it with the oil and the garlic and the chilli. Seasoning is really important, especially with a really simple dish. So lots of pepper. And I probably won't put any salt in because I'm going to use a lot of um, parmesan. Well, what are the stalks like? Because I noticed you left the stalks in and they're quite big. Yeah, they're fine actually. They're nice. They're cooked so much that they'll be really soft. Just not quite as soft as the... Um, florets. As the florets, exactly. And what often happens is the garlic and the chilli and everything gets kind of... Stuck at the bottom. Stuck at the bottom. So the person who gets served up last gets all the... Yay! <laughs> all the lovely bits. And then lots and lots of parmesan. Mm. So nice to be cooked for. Mm, it's really yummy. Mm. Really, the cheese really lifts it, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. My kids love this. Do they really? They have it all the time. And even when they've been fed cakes and biscuits and stuff, and I think there's no way they're going to eat any more, mm. they always demolish a plate of this. Mm. So that's the Monday night dish at my house for me and my kids. What do you have at home for yours? What's your go-to recipe when you think you haven't got anything in the house? 
Um, do let one us know. for meat free Monday as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. If you're vegetarian, brilliant. Um, it's really cheap. All you need is basically some broccoli and some pasta. And you did ask us that you did say to us that you wanted some cheap vegetarian quick meals. This is one. That what, is all. What do you cook? That. What's your um, you know vegetarian standby? Your vegetarian fail safe? I would love to hear. Comment below. Tweet. Tweet us. Subscribe. And subscribe. We'd love to hear from you. We're sisters and together we're crumbs. We both like cooking and we love food and chocolate and red wine.